What's up, Country Dance? It's your friendly online instructor, Brian B. And Miss Megan. And in this video, we're going to talk about arm catches for country two-step. Now, the prerequisite for this pattern is that you understand the basket whip. If you want to learn more about the basket whip, you can do that in the corner. But provided you do, this is what it looks like. Quick, quick, slow, slow. We dance the basket whip. We dance an outside turn to hammer lock into our arm catches. This is a pattern I had in one of my professional routines early on, and I still use it to this day. All right, gang, there's a couple of different keys that we're gonna need to understand to be able to effectively lead the arm catches. Number one is how to enter them from this position. So this is our basket whip position. From here, leaders, I'm gonna step back as I put the follower down line for quick. I'm gonna step sideways as she turns for quick. She's gonna step line for slow as I go in front. And then on the second slow, I'm gonna allow her to be prepped or prepared on that foot, right? Good old fashioned hammer lock stuff for here. If you don't understand this hand, this hand has to go down before it comes up. So we need to preserve that as we're doing it from the basket whip. We have quick, quick, slow, slow, a uh, quick, quick, slow, slow. So provided we've gotten to this position, Megan's in a good position to turn. My hand, I'm looking at my wristwatch. I no longer need the bottom hand. From here, if we do baby steps to understand the catches, this is gonna go over and I'm gonna catch with that hand. Now, a couple things are gonna happen as we do the next catch. I'm gonna feed my hand in to be a target, and what Megan has to do is she has to put her... My wrists together. So if Megan puts her wrists together, then that means that hand's always gonna be there as we do these catches, right? If Megan decides to put that hand at a different level, I'm not gonna be able to catch it. I'm gonna feel really silly. And that's what happened to me for a good long time doing these arm catches. I couldn't figure out why I couldn't catch the hand. It's because the follower needs to be consistent. So in those positions, if you're always putting your wrists together, they're never actually gonna to get together, right? They're never actually gonna get there. But leaders, I'm gonna put this hand in. Then if Megan for some reason misses by just a little bit, I'm still gonna have an opportunity to catch that hand. So let's look at it from the top. A quick, quick, slow basket whip. Quick, quick, slow, set up the turn. Quick, quick, slow, here we go. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. And I can finish quick, quick, slow, slow. Now I said there's a couple different keys. So the arms are one key. Where I go in my footwork is the next. Let's talk about that from the original side. All right, I didn't mean to lie to you, but we're actually gonna look at it from this angle because I wanna talk about which side I'm on of this track. So as I'm getting ready to lead this, for quick, quick, slow. At this point, I wanna be on the same side of the arm as my partner. Now, as we do this next arm catch, quick, quick, slow. I'm gonna move across, a quick, quick, move across. If I wanna look really slick in this, there's a couple different ways I can do this fork. If I wanna look really slick, I like to step across so I have a cool line. Quick, quick, I work to the other side. Quick, quick, I work to the other side. So I'm always working to the side of the arm that I'm catching on my partner. Now, Miss Megan is literally one of the best competitive two-steppers on the planet right now, and she's got a couple of things that she wants to cover. What did you want to talk about, Miss Megan? First, there is a timing change, so that's pretty important. Second, we're going to learn something that's going to help you with your turns. Okay, so let's talk about the timing change first. What do you mean by timing change? Timing change, so normally, Two-step is quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. At this point, we're gonna be going quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. So we have quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Now leaders, I wanna let you guys know, or gals, if you're a girl in leading, you can do two, four, or six of these and it will work. Right, so I can do two more to get to four. Once I'm at that even number, then I have to lead the free spin to get out. But speaking of spinning, Miss Megan. So when you get uh, into this first one, you wanna make sure that you're going to connect into this hand and prepping yourself over your right side. When you go to the next one, quick, quick, slow, same thing. Prep yourself over your left side so that when you go into your turn, you have some momentum going back the other way, and it makes your turns go just a little bit faster. And leaders, I would like to introduce you to a term that I use, and it's called allow, meaning I can lead, I can force, or I can allow. So when I'm leading this, yes, I have to stop my partner. I'm not stopping. <laughs> you see the difference, right? If I make that a hard stop, it's very jarring. So I'm going to allow for my partner to get on that foot, right? 
If I do it too much and she's good, she's never going to be able to stop. If I do it too little, I'm going to stop her. So as you lead this through, I'm catching this hand nice and early and I'm allowing her to prep. There's a little breath in this and you'll get comfortable depending upon how well your partner does this prep to be able to effectively do your arm catches. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed learning the arm catches for two-step. If you really want to nerd out about two-step and watch a really cool video, we've done like a complete map to two-step. It's everything we know about two-step, all the tips and tricks we've used from learning in the country bars and taking it to the competitive floor. I would watch that video right there. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video.